tired of those pesky pests wreaking havoc on your beautiful garden? You know, the little guys who think your prize-winning tomatoes are their own personal buffet? Well, what if I told you that you could fight back and you don't even need to suit up in a hazmat suit to do it? That's right, your kitchen, yes, your kitchen, holds the secret to powerful organic pesticides. We're talking totally safe, totally natural concoctions that'll send those pests running for the hills. And the best part? You probably already have most of the ingredients just sitting in your pantry. Stick around because the final tip is a game changer you won't want to miss. Those chemical pesticides? They're not exactly playing nice with the environment. We're talking contaminated soil, harmed beneficial insects, and even potential risks to your health. Organic pesticides are tough on bugs but gentle on the environment and your garden's friendly inhabitants. So ditch the harsh chemicals and let's get our hands dirty, literally, with some DIY organic pesticide power. Alright, let's kick things off with a classic, the garlic mint spray. This is a tried-and-true method that gardeners have been using for ages. It's super effective against a whole smorgasbord of bad guys, like aphids, mites, whiteflies, and even those pesky mosquitoes that love to crash your garden parties. It's like having a natural force field around your plants. Garlic and mint? That sounds more like a recipe for a delicious pasta sauce than a bug repellent, but trust me, this combination is a powerhouse in the garden. This stuff smells amazing, which is a nice bonus for us but not so much for those pesky insects. They can't stand the strong aroma and that's exactly what makes it so effective. So how do we make this magical elixir? It's easier than you think. You don't need any fancy equipment or hard-to-find ingredients. First, grab yourself about two heads of garlic. These little bulbs pack a punch when it comes to pest control. Don't worry about peeling them, we're going for maximum potency here. The skins contain beneficial compounds too. Now, roughly chop those garlic cloves just to help release all those pungent oils that'll send those pests running for cover. The more you chop, the more potent the mixture. Next up, we need some fresh mint. This herb is not just for mojitos, it's a key player in our pest repelling spray. About a cup of leaves should do the trick. Make sure they're fresh to get the best results. Give those leaves a rough chop as well, releasing all those refreshing minty oils that, let's be honest, we love, but bugs definitely don't. The aroma is invigorating for us but repulsive to pests. Now it's time to combine our aromatic warriors. This is where the magic happens. Toss those chopped garlic cloves and mint leaves into a blender or food processor. This will help to mix everything thoroughly. Add about two cups of water and let it rip. The water helps to extract all the beneficial oils from the garlic and mint. We want to blend this mixture until it's nice and smooth, like a fragrant green smoothie. The smoother, the better for spraying. Once you've achieved peak smoothness, strain the mixture through a fine mesh sieve or cheesecloth. This step ensures that your spray won't clog the nozzle. Pour the strained liquid into a spray bottle, and voila! You've got yourself a batch of potent all-natural garlic mint pesticide. It's ready to use. Give your spray bottle a good shake and apply it liberally to your plants, making sure to coat both the tops and undersides of the leaves. This ensures maximum coverage. Repeat this process every few days or as needed and watch as those pesky insects pack their bags and head for the hills. Consistency is key for the best results. Your plants will thank you for it and your garden will be buzzing with all the right kind of activity. Happy gardening. All right, for our next trick, we're going to whip up a batch of what I like to call leftover magic. This isn't just any ordinary garden hack, it's a way to transform your kitchen waste into something incredibly useful. This is a fantastic way to use up any vegetable scraps you might have lying around, turning potential compost into potent pest control. It's a win-win for both your garden and the environment. Onion skins, garlic cloves, hot peppers, tomato leaves, even things like rhubarb leaves which are toxic to us but surprisingly effective against garden pests. These ingredients are not just waste, they are powerful tools in our gardening arsenal. Basically, if it came from a plant and you're not going to eat it, toss it in the mix. This way, nothing goes to waste, and you get to harness the natural properties of these plants. Once you've assembled your army of vegetable scraps, give them a rough chop, just like we did with the garlic and mint. This helps to release their natural compounds more effectively. Now, toss your chopped veggies into a large pot or container and add enough water to cover them completely. Make sure the water is clean and fresh. Cover the pot and let it steep overnight or even for a full 24 hours, giving those plant compounds plenty of time to work their magic. The longer it steeps, the more potent it becomes. 
After a good long soak, it's time to strain our concoction. This step is crucial to ensure that the liquid is free from any solid particles that could clog your spray bottle. Line a colander with a few layers of cheesecloth or a fine mesh sieve and carefully pour the vegetable broth through it. This will help you get a clear, smooth liquid. This will remove all the chunky bits, leaving you with a smooth, potent liquid. This liquid is the base of our natural pesticide. To give our vegetable pesticide an extra boost of bug-busting power, we're going to add a few secret ingredients. These additions will enhance its effectiveness. First up, a tablespoon of neem oil. This oil is derived from the neem tree and is known for its powerful insecticidal properties. Neem oil disrupts the life cycle of insects, preventing them from feeding and reproducing. It's a natural way to keep your garden pest-free. Plus, it has antifungal and antibacterial properties, so it's like a multivitamin for your plants. It helps them stay healthy and strong. Next, we're going to add a teaspoon of liquid dish soap. This might seem odd, but it plays a crucial role. This acts as a surfactant, helping the pesticide stick to the leaves and preventing it from beating up and rolling off. It ensures that the pesticide stays where it's needed. Make sure you use a gentle biodegradable soap, as harsh chemicals can harm your plants. We want to protect our garden, not damage it. Give the mixture a good stir, ensuring that the neem oil and soap are fully incorporated. This will create a uniform solution. Now here's the important part, dilution is key. This step ensures that the mixture is safe for your plants. This concentrated mixture is pretty potent, so we need to dilute it before spraying it on our plants. Undiluted, it could be too strong. A good rule of thumb is to mix one part concentrate with 10 parts water. This ratio ensures that the pesticide is effective yet gentle. Once you've diluted your pesticide, pour it into a spray bottle and you're ready to go. This makes application easy and efficient. Apply it liberally to your plants just like we did with the garlic mint spray, making sure to coat both the tops and undersides of the leaves. This thorough coverage is essential for effectiveness. This vegetable-based pesticide is a great all-purpose solution for a variety of garden pests, and it's a fantastic way to use up those kitchen scraps that might otherwise end up in the compost bin. It's sustainable and practical. Plus, it's completely natural and safe for your family, pets, and the environment. You can use it with peace of mind. So go ahead, unleash your inner alchemist and turn those veggie scraps into pest-fighting gold. It's a fun and rewarding process. Your garden will thank you for it. Happy gardening. Chapter 3. White Oil Spray, A Slippery Slope for Soft-Bodied Insects. Alright folks, get ready for the simplest yet surprisingly effective organic pesticide recipe in your arsenal, the white oil spray. This one's for all you visual learners out there because the way it works is pretty darn cool. Imagine this. You're a tiny, soft-bodied insect, like an aphid or a mealybug, just minding your own business, munching on a juicy leaf. Suddenly, BAM! You're coated in a suffocating layer of oil. No more breathing, no more eating, game over for those pesky critters. Don't worry, we're not talking about dousing your precious plants in motor oil here. White oil is a highly refined horticultural oil that's safe for plants but spells doom for soft-bodied insects. Think of it like a targeted strike, taking out the bad guys while leaving your plants healthy and happy. Now you can usually find pre-mixed white oil sprays at your local garden center, but where's the fun in that? We're all about DIY here, remember? Plus, making your own white oil spray is incredibly easy and way more cost-effective. So, what do you need for this miracle potion? Just two simple ingredients oil and soap. For the oil, you can use pretty much any kind of mineral oil, like baby oil or even good old-fashioned vegetable oil. For the soap, you'll want to use a pure liquid soap, like castile soap or dish soap. Now let's mix up our secret weapon. Grab a measuring cup and pour in one cup of your chosen oil. Then add one tablespoon of liquid soap. Give it a good stir until the soap is completely dissolved in the oil. This mixture is your concentrated white oil base. To make the actual spray, you'll need to dilute this concentrate with water. A good starting point is to add two teaspoons of the oil mixture to one quart of water. Once you've diluted your white oil spray, pour it into a spray bottle and give it a good shake. Always test your spray on a small, inconspicuous area of your plant before going full-on bug blasting mode. If everything looks good after 24 hours, you're good to go. Spray your plants thoroughly, making sure to coat both the tops and undersides of the leaves. This white oil spray is incredibly effective against a wide range of pests including aphids, mites, thrips, and even those pesky scale insects that can be a real pain to get rid of. It's like a magic potion for your garden, keeping those soft-bodied insects at bay and allowing your plants to thrive. 
Plus, it's completely natural and safe for your family, pets, and the environment. So go ahead, unleash the power of oil and soap, and watch as those pesky insects slide right off your plants. With this simple yet powerful solution, you can maintain a healthy, thriving garden without resorting to harsh chemicals. Happy gardening! Well there you have it folks, three incredibly effective, all-natural pesticide recipes that you can whip up right in your own kitchen using common household ingredients. Remember, a healthy garden starts with natural solutions. By ditching those harsh chemicals and embracing the power of nature, you're not only protecting your plants, but you're also protecting the environment and the health of your family and pets. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome gardening tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. And be sure to share your experiences with these DIY organic pesticides in the comments below. Now, go forth and conquer those pests with your newfound knowledge and all-natural arsenal. Until next time, happy gardening!